Uh, first word that comes to mind when you think of a uh, volcano. Family. Coffee. Transparency. Chaos. Exciting. Collaboration. I'll take two. Beans. Oh, wow. Opportunity. A dream. It's home. So like if someone asks me what's great about a volcano, what's like one of the first things I go to? I think one of the first things I go to is I like the story, I like Kurt's story of roasting in that area in London. I like how he built it from the ground up. Like within the industry, we're known for kind of doing things a little bit differently or just going, screw it, let's do this and see what happens and usually it works. It's very rare that I find, well, it's very rare that I found a place of like, yo, this place is actually legit. Like I want to be a part of this and see change and make change and try to be a part of it and stretch it and make it better in every way possible. I mean, there's bullshit, there's bullshit everywhere, but it feels like there's not much bullshit here and it feels... It feels real. I think the reason that the, the business is so cohesive and works very, very well is because we're, we're a group of people whose principles are generally aligned. Um, th there's no real outliers at all in the business that um, don't believe in what we're doing as a wider message. It's a, it's a community stalwart now, Volcano Coffee Works in South London. You know, it's associated with the area, people in the area are proud of the name. And the people that work for the company are important members of their local community. Joe Mack was the first guy that uh, I got introduced to and um, was the only person that I spoke to out of, I think it was about three or four different roasters that didn't look at me like I had ten heads when I saw him putting a coffee machine on a tricycle. He, he looked at me and he was like, that's an awesome idea and I'd never heard of that. Fundamentally we all go in and we all put about 150% more effort in than anybody I see not just in our industry, but I mean, when was the last time you got real good, like actual proactive service in any sort of service industry? Right, go to the post office. It's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Why should we do another 10 years? It's a, very, it's a very good question. Well, what's the point of closing? Why should we not do another 10 years? If we just decided, ah, whatever, would be very opposite of who we are as a company. We don't just kind of go, ah, this is hard, see ya. And we'll never know what we can achieve if we just stop. The cake's not ready yet. <laughs> it's a cake in the oven and it's not quite finished. <laughs> Fundamentally, so far, this has probably been the best, well, I haven't been here for the full 10, but duration I've been here, best years of my life. What's the best thing we could do in the next 10 years? In the next 10 years? Survive 2020, right? That's the first thing. Get to the end of 2020. You've got all this experience, right? Uh, it's what you're gonna do with that 10 years of experience. 10 years is a great time to reflect, but it's also a really important time to look forward and say, what can we do even more of? For me, it's about really sharing everything we know so others can come on board. Movements are created when groups come together. And for me, that's, the benefit of working in specialty coffee now is that it is a tool that we can use to really move a market to make a difference. This is just the beginning. From, from my first day here has always been about change, it's always been about flux, it's always been about the, the ebb and flow of that opportunity. I want to, want to be recognised as kind of a dynamic company and sort of kind of like a, a market leader for all the right reasons, you know, for, for still being real, for still being real people with you know real passion not just market generated passion you know it's passion passion that comes from the from within and you know and to have a product that's recognized for that as well because people can taste that stuff you can taste it do i have any advice um i'd say keep doing what you're doing keep pushing boundaries keep just doing the impossible because i think that's what you guys do all the time so just don't change too much. My family are 10,000 miles away, um, but they're not, this is my family. Um, and the people that have come and gone and, and that sort of thing, we're still in touch with. Um, I mean, Jesus, we don't get out of bed for the paycheck, right? <laughs> <laughs> End video. <laughs> Salute. True, bro. Cheers.
Cheers. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up, mate. <laughs> cheers. Oh, cheers, mate. Well done. Cheers. Felicidades. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 To 10 years, and thank you for being with us. I said, I said, feel. <laughs> So feel much more authentic if I actually had a beer. <laughs> <laughs>